Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we actually have an interesting update on Avengers Endgame and a major question that many fans had after Endgame that has just finally been answered. Before we talk about this though, we actually have to set the groundwork. In Thor Ragnarok, it is made very clear that it is Thor that can actually channel and generate lightning, not Mjolnir itself. And Odin even tells Thor that his hammer is used to more channel his energy and control it than actually give him his powers. It's Thor that imbues the hammer with true strength strength and Mjolnir, not the other way around. But in Avengers Endgame, we actually see Captain America generating lightning from Thor's hammer, something that canonically in the Marvel Cinematic Universe doesn't actually make a lot of sense, as again, it was explained that it was Thor with the power, not Mjolnir. Surprisingly though, this is something that actually the writers of Avengers Endgame did think about, but they ultimately decided to still let Captain America use lightning in Avengers Endgame, and this was their explanation. There was certainly a debate at one point, because particularly in Thor Ragnarok, it establishes that Thor can summon the lightning without the hammer. I think Odin even says it was never the hammer, and yet Cap summons the lightning with the hammer Mjolnir. You get to those things and you're like, it's too awesome not to do it. We'll talk about it later. I remember how excited Chris Evans was. Obviously, he's read this scene and knew what was going to happen, but when you're standing there holding it and lifting it up, it's a pretty amazing feeling. I think the excitement on him was so captivating Captivating. I know there were certain moments people portaling in him holding the hammer. There are certain moments where you're just so excited. And having him lift it up was so gratifying knowing what would happen and what we had teased in Age of Ultron kind of came to an end in terms of what he can really lift it and I can't describe it in words. So basically to sum it up, the writers of Avengers Endgame did actually know that it was Mjolnir that was not capable of summoning the lightning but Thor the God of Thunder himself. And because they wanted Captain America to to actually wield lightning in Avengers Endgame, they simply decided to ignore this, which personally, I'm completely fine with. As again, the moment where Captain America actually does generate lightning from Mjolnir is one of my favorite in all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as I'm sure it is with others as well. Anyway though guys, what are your thoughts on this explanation and the fact that they totally knew that it was Thor that generates the lightning, not Mjolnir, and they decided just to sweep it aside for an awesome scene? Do you guys agree with this, as I feel like somewhat, it could be polarizing in the comments down below. Are you with me and are you completely fine with the fact of Captain America generating the lightning? Or again, would you like Marvel to be canonically appropriate at all times? As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team and have a great day.